guys welcome back today we're gonna take a look at the move the airplane windmill windmill with your hands stuck out like this like an airplane uh, very simple move actually unless you have the head mill and the barrel mill gone so I did tutorials on these uh, two moves like the head mill and the barrel mill I want you to check this out if you can do either one um, I guess the most important one is the barrel mill but head mill really helps with if you want to put your hands in various places because Sometimes you really, the barrel mill is good and as soon as you try a variation, you fall. That's because you're not used to bouncing in your move. In the beginning, when you want to do these variations where you put your hands in weird places, uh, you sort of need to learn how to bounce. So, the head mill goes on your forehead, drop on your back, and drop on your back, right? Uh, unlike that barrel mill, which is more in a straight line, uh, that's good, but... I suggest trying the head mill a little bit, it can only help you, really good for transitions too. So, uh, get both these down, barrel mill, head mill, then we can get into this move. So, uh, the airplane uh, windmill, well, pretty much, you need to keep your arms out like this. It doesn't really matter so much if your arms go a little bit down, because of course, if you can make this move as clean as you can, you really want to do that. So, when I go on my head, I really want to open my arms. But from here, I will actually shift my arms under like this. So you see that this arm actually goes back. Then you roll over your shoulder. And in a barrel mill, you make speed by throwing the, the hands. But of course, you cannot do this here. But what you simply can do is use a little bit the bounce from the head mill. And you can still chuck the shoulder. You just can't hold the hands in the barrel mill position. Or in that is the same move, right? Uh, so, if you have a good barrel mill and a good head mill, this is very possible. Then what you really want to do is telegraph your move. Uh, I'll just tell you what I do, but you don't have to do this, obviously. Uh, you can telegraph your move by simply when you're doing a little dance thingy, right? And from there, you actually run around like an airplane and go into your move. I know it's stupid, but it really shows people what you're going to do. And they really see, oh yeah, he's doing an airplane, right? Uh, and uh, but you don't have to do this obviously, especially if you move very clean, you can just add this variation in. Um, so yeah, that's actually it guys, try to get that move down, always make everything as clean as you can obviously. And then um, try to shimmy the arm under, but this hand can go to the back as you move your back. As soon as you go back to your head, try to open the arms again. So take a look at some of these uh, airplane mills. Going in, open, open, open. See, every time I'm on my head, I open the arms like an airplane, basically. Uh, so practice this. It's a nice little variation, of course, on your stuff. Maybe you can use it in some way. Fly and then jump into your move. Maybe you can do a good uh, roll and you jump and jump into it. So it's a nice little effect, guys. Practice it, and I'll see you next time.